Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shabir Safi and today we are going to explore traffic management features of Istio and we'll also implement a couple of those features on our local Kubernetes cluster. So let's get to it. When it comes to traffic management, Istio enables us to implement a wide range of traffic routing features such as URL rewriting, traffic shifting, fault injection, request timeouts, circuit breaking, and mirroring. Uh, but today we will explore two of them including url rewriting and traffic shifting all right guys so let's first talk about url rewriting and let's actually understand it using a real world example let's say i'm in the mood to eat some tiramisu so i want to learn how to make it so i go to google and search for a tiramisu recipe let's open the first result and here I have a recipe. But pay attention to the URL in the address bar. See how it includes the word tiramisu in the URL? Now, if we go back to our search result and scroll down to second or third page, and let's open this website. So here we have another recipe, but look at the URL in this case. It has no words like tiramisu or how to make tiramisu or anything like that. That's where URL rewriting comes in. URL rewrite is a technique used to change the URL of a web page in a way that it is transparent to the end user. So for example, your user may type a URL that looks like this, which is more user friendly and easy to remember. But when it is sent to your backend server or your application, the URL may look like this, which is more application friendly and your application can process that URL much more easily. And you might be thinking, why bother with URL rewriting? Well, it's not just about making URL look better. It can actually help with the search engine optimization which is to make sure your content shows up at the top of search results. By creating descriptive URLs with relevant keywords, search engines can better understand what your page is about and rank it accordingly. Another scenario where it is useful is, let's say you are redesigning your application and you are changing some old URLs, but you still want your users or your clients to access those legacy URL without having them to know the new changes, right? Because it won't be a good client experience if they have to remember or make changes from their side every time you change a URL. You may have a question at this point, just like I did when I was learning about this, that why use Istio for URL rewrite when you can accomplish the same at the application level using libraries like Friendly ID or some other library, right? Well, Istio gives you a couple of benefits. But the major one is that you can configure it at one central place without having to go in and mess around with your application code. So you don't have to implement additional logic and test it, which also sacrifice your app performance a little bit. But most importantly, you can just focus on implementing the business logic in your application and not worry about this at all. So I hope that answers the question you may had in your mind. But now let's jump into our demo and understand how we can implement this in Istio. Okay, so the first thing we need is to create our kind cluster. Let's execute the create cluster script from the service mesh gateway directory. As always, you can find the link to the GitHub repo with all the code and manifest in the description box below. All right, after this, we need to deploy our Istio setup. So execute the install gateway script from the service mesh gateway directory, and it may take about three to four minutes to complete. This will deploy all the components of Istio, including our service mesh, Istio gateway, and also the monitoring tools like Prometheus and Kiali that we talked about in our previous video. Okay, now our setup is complete. So 
let's look at how we are going to implement URL rewriting. So here, we are deploying a simple service called recipes and nothing special about it. This is just an Nginx service that we are deploying. But let's look at the virtual service object. In the previous video, we learned about virtual service object, which allows us to control how the traffic is directed to different services within our service mesh. So this virtual service object is going to configure the Istio gateway, which is deployed as part of our setup. Where the magic happens is the HTTP rule that we have defined here. It's pretty straightforward. We are creating a rule named recipes that matches a request with a URI of prefix tiramisu. When a matching URI comes in, the URI will be rewritten to just a forward slash before being sent to the destination service, which is our Nginx pod. Now let's go ahead and deploy this manifest. And open up our browser and navigate to 127.0.0.1 forward slash tiramisu. And here we get the response back from our service. Great, so to wrap this part up, we looked at how Istio's URL rewriting lets us take charge of request flow and fine tune how things move around. Next, let's explore traffic shifting and understand why it's super useful and how we can achieve this using Istio. In simple terms, traffic shifting is a technique we use in software development to smoothly transition user traffic from one version of the application to another. So imagine you introduce a new feature in your mobile application, but you're not entirely sure how it will perform with all users. So what you can do is divert only a small percentage of traffic, say 10%, to the new version with the feature while keeping the majority on the stable version. This allows us to capture any errors, gather feedback, analyze metrics, and make informed decision about rolling out the new feature to all users. All right, let's see how we can actually make it happen using Istio. Here I have two versions of the same application called Gigglebox. Again, there's nothing special about these apps. These are just Nginx pods serving some static content. First up, let's look at our virtual service object. Here we have configured the name of our gateway and also the URL rewriting that we have already discussed. Now let's talk about the destination routes. We have two versions of our application, v1 and v2. And we can control the traffic distribution with weights. In this example, we set v1 with a weight of 80 and v2 gets a weight of 20. It's like playing with the volume control of our traffic flow. Next up, we are looking at a new Istio resource called destination rule. It allows us the ultimate control over routing behavior and configuration settings. And here we are declaring the two subsets of our service, version one and version two. And you can see that these subsets are mapped with the virtual service object, which will direct the traffic to one of the two versions of our application. Okay, so now let's go ahead and deploy these services. Open up our browser and go to 127.0.0.1 forward slash gigglebox. And here we get a response back from the version one of our service. Now, if I keep refreshing the page a few times, we can see a small percentage of requests is served by version two of the service. And that's because we are splitting the traffic by weight where version one has weight 80 and version two has weight 20. All right, guys, so that's about it for this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you found this video useful, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.